Hey, it's Michael J. And today I thought I'd talk about a little phenomenon that happened to me regarding a couple of actors in the old movies from the 30s and the 40s. And what it is is that there are these two actors who are so similar that I have constantly through the years mixed them up. And it's Frankie Darrow and Stanley Clements. They seem like the same guy until you really analyze it. But this came up because I was thinking that I was seeing Frankie Darrow in one movie and then I went to IMDb to look him up and I couldn't find his name in the cast list and I was so confused. Well, it's because it was Stanley Clements. <laughs> so, here, anyway, I thought I'd uh, do a little video to focus on these two actors and how similar they are. It's, it's kind of remarkable. These two actors both played tough kids, newspaper boys, racehorse jockeys, bit parts, supporting parts, and leads. They were both short and played teens way into their 20s. They are so alike that I have been mistaking them for each other for years. Can you tell the difference between them? Go ahead. Lock me in a cell. I'm sick of being hungry and cold. What's the hitch? There's got to be a hitch or you wouldn't be coming to me. You have got a voice. That was great. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Liked it? Why, say, with a voice like that, you've got no business behind a reception desk. Uh, I'm on a hook for you, see? Mm -hmm. I'm responsible for you. Get me? I won't let you down, Tony. Well, maybe you won't, but I'm telling you. You step out of line just once. Oh, and me and a gang will drop you like it was a hot potato. Uh, okay? Okay. Can I talk to him now? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Now, let's just take one at a time. We'll start with Frankie Darrow. Frankie started earlier. He was born in 1917 and made his first film when he was six. Here he is in The Vanishing Legion in 1931. Yes, sir. Come on, Sonny. Two years later, Frankie was superb in Wild Boys of the Road. Jail can't be any worse than the road. So give it to me. This was an excellent social issue story about teens displaced during the Great Depression. In his early films, Frankie spelled his name with a W, but later dropped the W from his last name. Up in the Air was the beginning of a series of B-pictures where Frankie was co-starred with Mantan Moreland. Boy, look at that new reception. She's a honey. You better forget about her and put your uniform on. You know how Mr. Farrell is about us being late? Yeah. Plenty of time, my boy. Plenty of time. <laughs> Hear that beetle talk? You'd think something was gonna happen to us. The voice talent didn't get screen credit in Walt Disney's Pinocchio. Conscious. Nah, fooey. But there's no mistaking Frankie's voice, unless you think it belongs to Stanley Clements. Where's he get that stuff? No offense, but... By the 1950s, Frankie was taking any job he could get. I bet you didn't know he was inside Robbie the Robot. Baby. His last film appearance was a bit part as a drunk. You hear that, Sergeant? She's just high and handsome. This lady's got class. Well, I guess that puts me in my place. Well, you asked for it. Yeah. Okay, let's focus on Stanley Clements for a bit. 1941 was Stanley's premier year. He was 15 years old and made four films. I know him best from Going My Way with Bing Crosby, but I used to think he was actually Frankie oh, Darrow. <laughs> Say hello to the father. Hello, father. Hi, fellas. The father wants to see you. Well, I don't want to see the father. Keep what him. Keep quiet, will you please? Don't hit me on the head. You make me dopey. You are dopey. Oh. Now on. 
You're in charge. Oh, that's swell of you, Father. It's a great present. I always had my eye on it. I thought you did. Say, when are you going to give Father Fitzgibbon his uh, surprise? Not so loud. Later on in the church. Those boys haven't told me. Not anybody. a word, Father. Not a word. And if they did, I'd kick the... Uh, I mean, I'd be disappointed in them. <laughs> <laughs> Shortly thereafter, Stanley's name started to get bigger in the credits. I thought you were supposed to be in school. They sprung me. Sprung you? Yeah, they don't want me. <laughs> You're not kidding me. You deliberately got yourself kicked out. What are you talking about? I gave her a chance and she muffed it. You gave who what? The teacher. One look at me and you'd think I was rat poison. Why, I didn't even get a seat before I was out on the sidewalk. What did you do to that teacher so she couldn't stand you for ten minutes? Nothing. I just told you. She took a grudge at me right at the barrier. That's what I get for going in and acting like a gentleman instead of being myself. Huh. But you haven't told me how you like the dress. Do I like it? Say, listen, you look better than the leading lady down at the burlesque show. Stanley's tough New York kid persona was perfect for the Bowery Boys series of films. You guys, if there is some more money, let's find it! Let's check that out! His last film was a bit part in Disney's Hot Lead and Cold Feet. Don Knox is the sheriff who's in over his head. Jeff, I'm through with women. Absolutely through with them. Especially singers. That's the best idea you had yet. Don't look back, Rillery, because if you see how far in front you are, you'll drop dead. Of course, this is Buzzy O'Brien. Hurry up, will you please? Right. <laughs> 